What's up guys? I'm back for another video. And we're here to talk about Batista's failed 2014 WWE run and the truth and the truth behind it. All right now, I was excited for Batista to come back. I'd never saw him wrestle before there. I was very interested in what they were going to do with him. But what the WWE does is what they always do. They fail him. Alright? First they brought him back. They had him win. They had him win the Royal Rumble. Great move. They had him beat Alberto Del Rio at Illumination Chamber. Great move. But then they started screwing things up. First, they had him drop out the Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30 in the middle of the ring. He tapped out. Just like just like he tapped out the John Cena four years prior. Then after that, because of Puppet for the Authority and jobs out the shield. And after that, he was gone. They brought him back four years later and defeated Triple H. And that was also underwhelming. Why they failed him is because, you know. Batista, during his run, he was booed by the fans. And a lot of people say that it's because he wasn't the heel. He was a baby face. And the fans, they're half right, but half wrong. Alright? What they're half right about is that Batista, he wasn't himself. Alright? He wasn't the heel. He was a baby face. Now, do I think Batista needs to be a heel? The answer is no. What Batista needed to be was an animal. Because he's called the animal. And he needs to be that. Just like he was in his first tenure there. But did the WWE, but did the WWE let him be that animal? No. Triple H said himself to Batista. Or he said like, they said that like times have changed. We don't need the animal. Now, was that the reason why he got booed by the fans? The answer is no. He didn't get booed because he was, wasn't a heel. He didn't get booed because he was a baby face. He got booed because he was a victim of the smarts, the smart marks. You know why they booed him? Because they were jealous. They were jealous that he won the Rumble and their little precious Daniel Bryan did it. <laughs> Daniel Bryan did it in a rumble. He lost to Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Cry little Smarks. Uh, they, the Smarks have run wrestling. Wrestling today is just a bunch of people with no character, no charisma, just a bunch of flips and kicks. There's a bunch of acrobatics and gymnasts. That's what they are. And they run Batista. They forced W's hand to push Daniel Bryan. And that came at the expense of Batista. What Batista should have done, he should have won the Rumble, beat Alberto Del Rio at the Chamber, and then main event WrestleMania against the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. That's what they should have done. He should have stayed in the WWE for maybe a few more months, leave to go do Guardians of the Galaxy, come back and do the feud of Arnold Triple H. And I just found out something else that just really makes me angry, okay? It broke a couple of days ago. Apparently, when Batista made his return, he wanted some type of rap group to update his theme song by putting rap lyrics in it. But you know what the WWE did? They denied his request. <laughs> Well, when Vince McMahon can't listen to big stars like Batista, how do you think he feels about their current talent? Think about it. Dude, he was pissed at Stone Cold for teasing a match with Brock Lesnar that wasn't going to happen. Why? Why, Vince, can't you let the wrestlers be themselves? Let Batista update his theme song. Let Stone Cold tease a match with Lesnar. You can work on 
Steve Austin getting back in the ring and fighting Brock Lesnar. Did you think about that? You don't have to micromanage everything, Vince. Start pushing your talent. Start treating them better. Start incorporating their ideas. You know, use some of the stories that they're thinking of. Use their ideas. Use some elements that they want to be a part of their character. You don't have to write down everything for them. You don't have to script them to a thousand page script. You don't have to do that. They have failed a lot of talent today. And they also failed Batista. All right. So Vince and I's request updates. Theme song had him job out to Daniel Bryan. And they had him become a puppet for the authority and job out to the shield. They could have done much more with Batista. That's it, folks. Goodbye. I'm out of here.